Hey, what's going on, Aaron Chen? You hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, then you might be doing a bit of research on how to convert leads into sales, okay? So we're gonna cover that over the next few minutes. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, consider subscribing to the channel because I always come up with content that will teach you how to build a more profitable affiliate marketing business and just be more successful online in general. Hit the bell notification so you know every time we come up with a new video, all right? Now let's launch into this topic because this is a really interesting topic that had me kind of stumped for many 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 years okay and the, the problem is it's not really it's not that difficult to generate leads and traffic you know you can get it from social media we're talking about Facebook YouTube Instagram LinkedIn many different ways both free and paid the problem though is how do you then take those people and convert them into sales so you can make profit for your business right now I specialize in affiliate marketing where you sell other people's products online and you know there are really three big ways ways um, that people <clears throat> try to convert their leads into sales right so I'm gonna show you three models first I'm gonna show you the broke model this is what a lot of people still teach today then I'm gonna show you the still kind of broke model okay which I did for a very very long time eight long years from 2009 to 2016 I used this model I spent over a hundred thousand US dollars and I couldn't make it work I wasn't in profit I literally had you know, uh, three hundred dollars, uh, three to five hundred dollars at the end of the month, and I had to, you know, quit my online business. I had to rebuild my career, get my resume out again, get a new job. It was just a terrible time, right? So I'm gonna show you what this looks like, and I would say that ninety percent of people out there teaching this. And then I'm gonna show you the six-figure model, the model I'm using now. This is the model that I used to break through. This is the model I used to quit my full-time job. I tripled. Um, actually more than tripled now my old corporate salary and I used to do very well in corporate uh, I went full-time online in April 2019 this is the model that you want to stick around for so make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly how to do this okay how to really convert your leads into sales this is really where all the magic happens it's, it's right here okay so let's first talk about what you've probably seen online and I'll explain to you why it doesn't work in most cases right so let's let's start with the broke model first all right so this is the broke model right here right <clears throat> The broke model is when people tell you to drive traffic and leads where it doesn't matter where it's coming from. It could come from a blog, SEO, a solo ads. It could be a JV email uh, partnership with somebody else. It could be uh, so social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is. You send those eyeballs directly to your affiliate link. That means this is the affiliate link that you're getting from a network to promote somebody else's product. And if they make a sale, if they, if they buy, you get some commissions for that, right? So in this example, that's what sales page means, okay? So, <clears throat> or this could be sending traffic, excuse me, and I'm not feeling very well, so if I'm coughing and spluttering, I do apologize, but I wanted to get this video out uh, for you today, okay? Because it's a very, very important topic, um, and it needs, to be to it needs to be spoken about, right? So traffic directly to the sales page, this is like a 1% or less than 1% conversion rate. It's terrible, okay? So that means that if you send a hundred people to your sales page using this broke model which is what a lot of people do they buy Facebook ads they buy YouTube ads they buy solo ads and they send people directly to their affiliate link or the sales page of whatever product that you're trying to sell whatever product and service and they expect people to buy it's just mind-boggling okay now <clears throat> people aren't gonna buy which is why the conversion rate is 1% that means you spend lots of money on paid advertising or free advertising if you're good at free advertising right and out of a hundred people that land on your sales page, maybe only one person will, will buy. And most of the time, they don't even buy. It's less than 1% most of the time, okay? So this broke model has, did, has been done to death. And the reason why people don't buy is because people hate to be sold to in this day and age of the internet. We've been, a, you know, selling online has been around now for a long time, about 15 plus years, okay? So um, it's not just e-commerce. It's not just drop shipping. It's also uh, digital selling, affiliate marketing, selling other people's products. People have seen ads and promotions online to death at this point, right? So people are sick of it, you know, and they, they like to, to buy things, but they hate to be sold to, right? And I'm, I'm going to come back to this uh, whole theme again in a minute, right? So you don't want to do the broke model. Don't send people directly to any sales page or any affiliate link. You're not going to make sales, okay? Now let's, let's talk about the still kind of broke model, all right? So this is what I was taught in 2009 <clears throat> it's still taught today in a lot of training courses in a lot of online selling affiliate marketing training courses they teach you 
the still kind of broke model. It's just weird. I don't know why people do that, right? So this is this is the still kind of still kind of broke model, okay? <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. This may look familiar to you. So what people say is, <coughs> excuse me, they say you start with traffic. It always starts with traffic because you have to find the target audience for your stuff, and you need to um, target the right people. So whether you're selling, you know, um, a software uh, a tracking software right you gotta you gotta find entrepreneurs that are interested in tracking if you're selling a golf training product then you have to target people that are interested in playing golf or learning how to get better if you're selling a gardening product then you have to target people that are interested in gardening right so traffic is always the start of everything and targeting the right people is very very important then after that you basically lead them to, a, to an opt-in page. You want to collect an email address, right? So up until this point, this is correct, right? This is accurate. You, you, people still communicate via email mainly, so you want as many email addresses as you can, okay? Then this is what they say. Instead of selling some, sending someone directly to a sales page or your affiliate link to an affiliate program, what they do is, is they say create something that's called a bridge page, okay? Now a bridge page, all it is, is it's basically a page where there's information on you or your product or your story basically, right? And that's not bad, okay? It's, it's actually a better way to do it than the broke model up here, okay? But the bridge page, all it is is it's you coming on video perhaps uh, or you introducing your product and you kind of tell the story behind you or the story behind why you are selling that program or why you created that product or service in the first place, right? And then after that, it leads them to the actual affiliate link or the sales page uh, and that's kind of the, the still kind of broke model that a lot of people teach. A lot of people teach this, a lot of people are doing this online. I would say again more than 90% of affiliate marketers teach this specific model, right? Now what are the conversion rates on that? Well it's slightly better than the broke model but it's still very low. It's like 1 to 2%, okay? 1 to 2% conversion rates. Okay, now why is this model slightly better, but it's still not that good? It's still kind of, you're still kind of broke, right? Well, it's because the bridge page is just one additional page. And what happens is in this still kind of broke model, the people that are teaching this particular model tell you to keep sending people back to the bridge page. So what happens is people hear your story one time, but if you keep sending them back over and over and over again to the same bridge page, where they're just introducing themselves and telling their story over and over and over again, people are going to get bored. You know what I mean? Because you're sending them back to the same page and they're like, okay, I've heard your story like five times now. I'm still not interested. You know what I mean? And so that's what happens. And that's why the conversions are slightly better, but they're still not that good. Okay? Now let me show you the six-figure model. And this is the model that I teach. This is the model that I implement. This is the model that changed my life. It took me so long to learn this model. Um, I only discovered this model um, in 2009 and then I, sorry, in, in 2016 I learned this model. I perfected it over the, the next few years from 2016 to 2017 to 2018. Um, you know, I've really perfected this model and this is what has literally changed my life and um, thousands of my students' lives all over the world that are trying to sell products online, affiliate marketing, other people's products and services, this is what it looks like, okay? So <clears throat> this is how it works. So first of all, it starts the same. You always need to have traffic, right? Get targeted traffic to your page that you that you want to opt in for, right? So get them to opt in, collect an email address, that's still very, very important. Now this is where it changes, okay? What you then want to do is instead of sending them to a bridge page, is you want to send them to different multiple value series pages. I call it the value series page because what you're doing is you're not really introducing yourself and your story. What you're doing instead is you're putting yourself in the shoes of your prospect, okay, of your audience, <clears throat> and you're helping them to solve their problems by actually giving them solutions, which is basically called value, right? So for example, if you're trying to sell a gardening product in affiliate marketing, your multiple value series pages would kind of look like this. You would basically be teaching them every single day a little bit more about how to start a successful garden in their backyard. That's basically it. It's as simple as that. If you are, if you are selling a dog training product, right? So let's just say your sales page here is a dog training product. In your multiple value series pages, <clears throat> every single day you would basically drip feed them a very short, simple piece of content that teaches them a little bit about training their dog. So day number one might be explaining to them about the psychology of a dog. Day number two might be ex explaining to them how you have to, um, you know, uh, backtrace and change the way that they 
you know, look at biting your slippers. And then day three might be reinforcing good training habits. And then day number four might be wrapping it all up in a nice bowl. But you get the idea, right? All you're doing is you're giving them bite-sized chunks of very, very valuable information. And that's what makes people get to know, like, and trust you. That's the most important thing online, right? If somebody isn't given value, they're not going to want to buy from you. If you can't help them to solve their problems, they're not going to want to buy from you, okay? And so with the six-figure model, this right here, the multiple value series pages, is really what gets you that, that trust that allows people to want to work with you. That's really, really important, okay? Now, let me take this one step further. Have you ever heard of the freemium model? So the freemium model is how a lot of apps work, all right? So if you think about it, a lot of like the good gaming apps do this very well, okay? So if you download a game right now, most of the time you can download the game for absolutely free, right? So that's called freemium. You download the game for free, you start playing the game, but if you want to upgrade or you want to get stuff faster, right? If you want to upgrade, you want to get a better sword or you want to get a faster car or whatever it is, you have to pay money to buy credits usually. They're diamonds or gold coins or silver coins or whatever it is, right? And that's how people start to spend money. But if you think about it, initially it was absolutely free to play that game or to use that app, right? But to unlock all the advanced features, you need to pay for it, right? So this is basically a, you know, a model of the freemium model. That's all it is. Except what you're doing is, is you're using the freemium model to sell affiliate products online, other people's programs, or even your own products. You can use the exact same thing. So all you're doing is you're giving little bits of it for free so that people actually want the, the whole thing. Does that make sense, right? So you're giving them the crumbs um, so eventually if they have enough crumbs, they're going to want the whole pie, right? And, and you're building value. So again, people love to buy, but they hate to be sold to. Now, when you're using the freemium model or when you're building value, you're allowing people to get to know, like, and trust you. You're helping them to solve their problems. They're getting real value from you. And eventually, <clears throat> they're going to want the full thing. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And this is what allows you to get conversions between three to 10% or sometimes even more if you execute it right. Now, why is there such a, a big gap between three to 10%? Well, it depends how well you execute your value series pages. If you execute them very well, then you get higher conversions. If you execute them so-so, then you'll get lower conversions. But even when you execute them so-so, the conversions are still way better than the broke and the still kind of broke model. Okay, and I've seen this time and time again. I've got students doing $40,000 a month because they've moved from the still kind of broke model to the six-figure conversion model. Some crazy stuff, okay? Now, I'm, I'm just going to show you right now uh, on my screen. I hope that this works, okay? You should be able to see this. <clears throat> this is actually one of my value series pages. Now, every single page is slightly different, as in it looks the same, all right? There's, there's, a, there's a header, there's a title, and then there's the main content, which is basically the video. By the way, the video, you can do any style of video. You can use your face, you can record your screen, you can do a cartoon style, animation style, whiteboard style, keynote style, PowerPoint presentation style. You can hire someone on Fiverr to do the video for you if you want. You don't necessarily ever need to show your face. All you need to do is bring value to your specific audience member. Does that make sense, right? So. If you're selling a golf training, make sure you're teaching them about golf. If you're selling a dog training, make sure you're teaching them about how to train their dogs better. If you're selling a gardening product, make sure this video right here is giving them value about gardening. Okay, that's how it works. And then at the, after the video, at the bottom, you just have a button that they can click on and it leads them to the sales page of whatever you're trying to sell them. This could be your affiliate link, right? So if you're an affiliate marketer, and you want to make more sales, you want to get 3 to 10% conversions instead of 1% conversions, this is basically how you set up. And every single value page, you're not, you're not sending them back to this page over and over again. You're sending them to part number 1, part number 2, part number 3, part number 4, part number 10, part number 20, part number 30, part number 60. So they're continuing to get lots of value from you on a regular basis, and that's what gets people to buy eventually. Okay, so let me just go back here and show you how this works again, right? So <clears throat> what you're doing is, this is not a static model, okay? You're sending them to different value pages every single time. You're not sending them back to the same old bridge page over and over and over. People don't care about your story, by the way. You know, a lot of people teach you that. They're like, oh, tell them your story, and then they're gonna connect with you. Listen, people don't give a shit about you. They don't care about you. They only care about themselves, right? Which is why you need to focus on your prospect, not you. People don't care about your story. They care about themselves. So how are you going to help them, 
right? People don't care about you until they understand how much you care about them. Let me say that again. People don't care about you until they understand how much you care about them. And if you can care about them and give them value and do it in a very cool and non-intrusive way and you're giving them multiple pieces of value, not just one piece of value, multiple pieces of value, then they're going to get to know, like, and trust you and they're going to want to buy from you over everybody else in that space. Does that make sense? And that's why the six-figure model works so well, okay? And um, first of all, let me know what you thought of this video, okay? Let me know in the comment section below. What, what, what did you learn? Give me some of the aha moments that you got from this value today. Write in the comment section, Aaron, I learned this in this video today. If you enjoy this video, I would really appreciate some thumbs ups, okay? Um, and if you're like, what's next? You know, Aaron, how, you know, where do we go from here, right? So there are a couple of things. You can go out there and take action on this stuff right now if you want. But if you want to, to literally get the hand-holding, you know, the step-by-step -step training on how to do this, how do you build out the multiple, you know, step value series? How do you target the right people? How do you speak to them, right? Um, exactly how do you create your videos? Um, and, and how do you build this out in a way where it's fully automated? You only have to do it one time, and then you never have to create a, a piece of content again if you don't want to. You just put in the work, it's all automated, that's why I love it so much, and then you just fill your front of the six-figure model with as much traffic as possible, and it just converts, okay? And this is really how you convert leads into sales. If you would like to learn how to do that, um, and you'd like to work with us, I've got a link below uh, to one of our main training programs. Um, you can check out if you want. It's called Invincible Marketer, where I teach thousands of people all over the world exactly how to do this properly so that you can then become an independent entrepreneur. You can sell any program or service that you want, right? Um, and you're going to do it in a really, really cool way and get some really high conversions as well. All right, so if you'd like to check that out, you can click the link below. Otherwise, listen, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know every time we come up with a new video. And I hope to see you on another video. Take care and all the best to you.